Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your Basebox access point in bridge mode. So I've just reset this access point to default. So I'm just going to click OK. I always like using the the easiest method for configuring um, routers and access points, and that is to use Quickset for the initial configuration. What you need to do first is to change the mode of of the access point. So currently it's in CPE, that is in um, client premises equipment. I'm going to change that to WIS AP, and that will give us all the access point features. And because we are configuring this access point in bridge mode, we leave this option um, ticked. And in the acquisition address, address acquisition, if you want to assign the IP address automatically, then you can leave it on automatic. Um, but if you want to use a, a static IP address, which most people um, uses, you can put the address that you want and the subnet and the gateway the gateway for your network so if you're not sure of um of these um settings what you could do is use the automatic and you'll see the subnet mask and the gateway of your network you see the address and all of that and then what you can do now is to um go over to static and put in those configuration just to make it much easier so we are going to use the google dns which is 8.8.8.8 and if you want to add a, another dns just click on this arrow i'm going to add the next one and that's 4.4 and down here now we can actually give the access point a name so i can say microtik i can give this um base box ap you can type your password here so you can give it a password i know we're going to configure the wireless and uh, this is the name of your wi-fi and this is the name that you will see when you go onto your device and search for wi-fi wi this is the name that you'll see so you can change it i'm going to change my one to tk S J A and uh, for the frequency always leave it as auto because the this is allow the access point to automatically choose the best frequency to use and for like country you can set that but it will work without setting a um, a particular country but the next important thing that you need to configure is the security in your wireless because if you if your wireless doesn't have any security then anyone can connect um, to your internet and use it so I always use WPA2 which is the most secure but if you have very old de old devices connecting to your wireless you might want to use WPA which is less secure but it is it supports the older devices and then now you if edit in this era you can hide or show the password so I can hide the password and type it and now we're going to apply these settings apply ok and because this this access point is in bridge mode it won't be issuing any IP addresses so if you're going to IP DHCP server there's no DHCP servers here, nor network, nor lease. There, there won't be anything here because this access point will get all its, all the clients that are connected to this access point would get it, get it address from the router that it's con that this access point is connected to. So this is actually acting as a pass through. So all the traffic just passing through this access point. And this access point is not doing anything other than authenticating the users. 
So the next thing that you need to do is to test your access point to see whether or not it has internet access. And the easiest way to do that is to try and up update your packages. So you go to packages and click check for update. And if you get a response to show the latest package and the details of the updates, then you know that your access point has internet access. And one last thing, if you go to wireless and go to interfaces, this is where this is the, your wireless device and registration will show the devices that are connected to your your wireless. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, connect a device to the wireless network. So you're seeing where this device is just connected and it shows the connection speed and also give the signal strength and all of those things. So that is how you go about configuring your your base box access point in bridge mode. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.